In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called balanced binary tree. So given the binary tree, determine if it is a height balance. So for this problem, a height balanced binary tree is defined as a binary tree in which the left subtree and the right subtree of every node different in height by no more than one. So you can see we have an example like this, right? And we're returning to because in this case is a balanced binary search tree. So sorry, binary tree. Um, and in this case, you can see the left subtree, right? In this case, we're not just checking the root level if the left subtree height is actually balanced. It's uh, in this case, the, the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree um, is no different than one, but we also have to check for each and every single subtree, right? So you can see that for this subtree right here on the right subtree, um, the height on the left subtree is just one and the height on the right subtree is just one. So in this case, there is uh, the left subtree's height and the right subtree's height is no different than one. So in, therefore this subtree right here is balanced, but this subtree has a height of two, right? And this subtree has a height of one. And, and in this case, this left subtree is one, the, the right subtree height is two. So the difference between those two is no bigger than one. So therefore this subtree, right? In this case, this entire subtree is basically balanced, right? So therefore we turn true. Um, and then if we have a situation like this, where we have where we have a unbalanced binary search, or oh, sorry, binary tree, in this case, we check to see if this subtree is balanced. This is, has a height of one, this has a height of one. So this therefore this subtree is balanced. So it has a height of two. This subtree has a height of one. So this is subtree is balanced, right? This subtree right here is balanced because in this case, there are difference no bigger than one, right? And so therefore this subtree has a height of three, right? Uh, in this case, this subtree has a height of one. In this case, this subtree is not balanced or in this case, the entire tree is not balanced because three minus one, the absolute value is actually bigger than one. So therefore this subtree is not balanced binary tree, right? So in this case, uh, we return false. And of course, if the root is null, then we're returning true, right? So in this case, how can we be able to solve this problem? So to solve this problem, what we have to do is we have to start at the base level, right? So what's the base case in this case? The base case is at the very bottom. So in this case, if the root, right, if we only have like one node like this, we know that this is balanced because the left subtree is null, right? Basically zero, has a height of zero. The right subtree has a height of zero and is no bigger than, uh, in this case, the difference is no bigger than uh, one so we know it's true right so same thing here basically what we can say is that if this is a leaf node then we know that the, this is a balanced binary tree right so we return back to the root say the height is one so that this recursion stack or in this case for this node we can be able to compare the the children to see if this subtree is balanced right in this case the children on the right subtree is zero or has a height of zero and this the height of the left subtree is one. So we know we take the absolute value. In this case, the absolute value is, uh, um, in this case, the difference between those two in absolute value is just one. So it's no bigger than one. So in this case, this subtree is basically balanced. So we basically returning the height of this current subtree, right? In this case, the height of this current subtree is basically the maximum between those two, which is one plus the current node, which is two, right? So in this case, once we are here at this current node, we basically see the uh, the right subtree. In this case, the right subtree has a height of one, right? So we know the absolute value of those two, right? The difference between those two value and absolute value is just one. So we know that up to this point is good, right? We know this is balanced binary tree or binary subtree, right? So we return the height of this, this tree back to the root. So in this case, we know that this is one because in this case, this is a leaf node. So in this case, for this parent level, in this case, this node right here, um, we know that the absolute value difference between those two subtrees height is going to be two, right? So two is actually bigger than one. Therefore, this is not a balanced binary sub, uh, this is not a binary, uh, this is not a balanced binary tree. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to return false, right, to the parent, stack so that in this case we have to tell the parents that this is a unbalanced right this is the unbalanced um binary binary tree right 
it doesn't really matter if the height here is four and the height here is three. And we know that this is balanced and this binary tree is balanced because we know the height is four here, right? And this is the height is four, three. So the absolute value is, three, is just one. But the thing is this binary tree, this binary subtree is unbalanced. If one binary subtree is one, or in this case, one subtree is unbalanced, then this entire tree is unbalanced. So there, there should be a way that we should have to return back to the root, right? The node, uh, the root node say that this is unbalanced. So how can we do that? Because the function we're returning is we're returning the height of each and every single subtree. So what we can do is that we can be able to return a negative value symbolize this is an unbalanced tree, right? If I return negative one, or it doesn't really matter if it's integer dot minimum value, or in this case, negative two or anything, right? We can have a variable to keep track of to, uh, or a constant variable value represents um, unbalanced binary tree, right? So if we have a unbalanced binary tree, we right away have to return unbalanced binary tree to the root level because if, just like I mentioned before, if one subtree is unbalanced, we have to basically the entire subtree is unbalanced or the entire tree is basically unbalanced, right? So basically this is how we solve the problem. And in the code, basically what I have here is I have a constant variable called unbalanced and this unbalanced in this case is negative one. Um, in this case, this function returns a Boolean so we basically check to see if the root is null, if it's null, we return true. Then we do our DFS, right? And the goal is that we do our DFS, validate each and every single subtree. If one subtree is unbalanced, we will right away return back to the root saying that this subtree is unbalanced, right? And then the root will return unbalanced, right? And continue. And then in this case, we, all we have to do at the at this level is that we check to see if the if the current subtree is unbalanced, right? If it's, if it's returning unbalanced, then that means basically it's false. If it doesn't returns unbalanced, which basically means it's balanced, right? So you can see here, we're basically just doing our DFS, right? We first check to see if it's a leaf node. If it is a leaf node, return one. Um, otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to see if this, uh, we're going to do our left subtree. We're trying to get our height of our left subtree. If our left subtree is unbalanced, we're returning unbalanced. And we do the same thing for right subtree. Uh, we get the height of the right subtree. If the right subtree is unbalanced, we return unbalanced. Then and lastly, we just check the current tree, right? We check to see if the current subtree is unbalanced. If it is unbalanced, we return unbalanced. Otherwise, we are going to return the height of the current subtree or tree, right? So this is basically how we solve the problem. And you can see this is how we solve the problem, uh, or the, sorry, the time complexity in this case is big over n, where n is the number of nodes that we have in our tree. And the space complexity in this case, because we're doing a DFS, uh, is gonna be big over h, where h is basically the height of the tree, right? We're basically going to DFS, um, and the recursion stack is basically the height of the tree. Okay, so there you have it, and thank you for watching.